Hello, blessed ones. Right now, I am looking for opportunities to enter a trade. And I can see that there is quite a lot of movement when it comes to BNB. And that's why this looks like a pretty good candidate. And looking at the setup, uh, it looks like it is high potential for a long position. And therefore, I am doing this recording to show you my train of thought and what I'm likely to do. So, why I say that this is in a good position is because, firstly, firstly, you can see that, um, okay, the first thing first is that there is price movement, okay? Second thing is, let's take a look at the chart. Um, it is currently, there's two double bottom, this is a double bottom. And it has broken the neckline. I mean the 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 resistance of a double uh, this a double bottom. It has broken through and it has come on up. It is shooting up. Can you see that? So this actually shows that this is likely to be continuous upward trend. Okay. However, I was hesitant to enter because the stochastic RSI is already pretty high and uh, actually it, it is still fine to enter as long as this thing continues to hover up but what i was afraid is that it's, it will turn back down and that way it's not good for a long position so normally i will advise people to enter when the stochastic rsi is down and turning up okay but if it is in a bull cycle and it continues to run up right then this stochastic RSI, this line will continue to, um, to be you know hovering up. You understand. So sometimes waiting for it to turn down may also mean that you are missing out on certain opportunities. So on this right, you have to be extremely careful, and you have to be on a really case by case basis to make some decision. Okay. So anyway, for me, um. I chose to wait out and see but as I wait out you can see that uh, I am missing out a couple of opportunities here which is fine okay so let's just walk through further so once again um, you can see that there is some momentum on this coin all right so one other thing that I was hesitant to enter at first is not only because of the stochastic RSI which is this another reason i was hesitant is because the this uh my moving average which is the seven days this seven days moving average the yellow line right is below the uh, moving average 25 days as well as the moving average i think 99 uh, sorry the other moving average is 99 days so the moving average or rather, hang on, the MA, the MA9 is less than the MA50, uh, sorry, MA25, as well as the MA99, okay? In this set of indicators, I'm using MA9, MA25, and MA99. So, when this yellow, which is the MA9, is way below, it's also rather dangerous um, to enter. Usually, it is best when the yellow line is at the top, okay? Usually, the yellow line is like that. Then, it is safer because it is, uh, it will likely to be an upward trend, you know? Okay? So, these are some of my considerations. But even as I speak, you can see... Uh, the price continues to long upwards, alright? And you can see that the stochastic RSI is continued to be right on top, okay? So these are some of the main factors. Another main factor I will consider whether to enter a coin or not is I will look at what was the previous low and what was the previous high, okay? But because now the day has just started, um, the new settings, I think, start from... 8 a.m. Singapore time uh, to mark one full day, 24 hours. So, you know, this figure is still 
um, has a has a good potential to reach it. Okay, anyway, because right now we are like five eight two. Um, to five eight six, there is still some good growth, and most likely, if the momentum continues, it may even shoot past five eight six to maybe five uh, nine zero, and so on. All right, so these are some of my considerations. Okay, so you can see now, as we speak, stochastic RSI is turning down. Why? Because you can see the price movement. Okay, so please know that it is the price movement which, which what drives price movement? It is the demand and the buying and selling. Okay, it's the buying and selling that drives the candlesticks and the price movements. And this will show also in the movement of the stochastic RSI as well as in the MACD. You understand? So it is not the other way around. It is not because the MACD is like this and stochastic is like this, then the candlesticks is like that. So we have to get that part clear. Alright, it is because the candlesticks are like that, that shows in the stochastic RSI. Alright, and so you can see as we were speaking now, the candles are moving downwards. That means there's more selling, right? And you can see now the stochastic RSI is turning down. You see, so the ideal entry situation for me right now is to wait out until this stochastic RSI comes all the way down and cooks up, okay, this way. Then, if I see something like that, then it is a buy signal in this case for longing, okay? Okay, and also you see the moving average 9 is now is already moved up already so these are my signals okay now still while waiting for it to go down here um, and as it goes down this MACD will also slightly turn down okay now for me MACD is a good guide but it is not my main guide okay the main guides are those things that I told you earlier now I just would like to rewind a little bit to show you the previous price movements which was just not too long ago because what I'm looking at is the one minute chart all right it's the one minute chart so you see where is the turning point where is the point where the the um, yellow line came down it's at this point okay when the yellow line can you see is on top then now this is the point where the yellow line came down and you see this will mean that the price is going downwards all right so when the yellow line is up it is more of a bullish sign when the yellow line is down okay coming down under the purple and the blue line then it is a bearish sign okay and you can see that when it turns down it actually start to form a double bottom all right and then when it breaks through this and this actually shows that it's a upward sign okay so this is how it is then now let's take a look at even further can you spot something here some candles candlestick patterns here can you see what I see, which is this? And what is this formation called? This is the head and shoulder formation. And these are the shoulder, shoulder, shoulder one, shoulder two, and this is the head. Okay? When you have a formation like that, then when it breaks down, it, it, it actually shows a possibility that when it breaks down that it is really you know a downward trend can you see that so these are patterns that you will see often in the charts and it is good for you to understand the price movement and how it works and these are good guides for you on how to guide you on how the market is turning okay so now as we speak the stochastic RSI is still coming down the MACD is still way on top 
like I say, MACD to me is still not so important. I don't mind to enter as long as this comes down and hooks up, okay? So I am still still waiting for it to turn. So now, just now I was mentioning to you this head and shoulder formation here, right? Okay? And uh, so you can see the head and shoulder, sometimes it can be this way or it can be straight like this okay and then still break down usually it's like this okay so it, it it doesn't matter whether it is slanted or it is straight or sometimes it can be slanted slightly downwards also like that okay but generally when it happens it's usually also to break down all right then um what else can i show you so the best time to buy in any charts right is of course the best is to catch the bottom the dip if you can catch this but usually it's not easy to know when it's going to reach the bottom and if you were to be able to buy here then can you imagine your position as it goes up and then exit somewhere around here all right then it's a very good long position so similarly similarly right now to the current time our current dip is somewhere around here okay and so if able to enter here and go up of course it's good however I chose to take a safer route which is to wait for this to go up first and you know so on okay now you see even if just now right at this point to enter it is good can you see that the RSI is way down it's down and it's turning up you see so it's also a good sign from here to here which is this here to here it's a good long position all right but as i mentioned um i chose to wait out so that the moving average will go back up to give me a more bullish sign before i enter a long position all right so right now stochastic rsi is still not exactly the position i want so in just a little bit more i may be able to put in a trade to buy b and b okay and then hopefully it will long and go up uh to around at least uh five eight six or five eight seven okay that will be the the take profit that i aspire to get yeah and then um the stop loss um i will put around you know usually i will put the stop loss later far away from my entry point so that it won't be stumped out okay and i will enter a position uh soon um anything more i could tell you guys so one more thing is how you determine the the take profit right usually is you look at also the last highest point so that is a gauge to tell you that this is where the resistance is and so likelihood is the price will go up down up down and come to here and may come down again or if it shoots up it's fine but as an indication for us to take profit it's good to look at the previous high or even the 24 hours high okay and how do you know where is the support the support is always here at the lower zone and you can see in this case for example the support is about i mean the 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 last lowest price is 576.57 you can see the previous lowest is also around there is 579.56 and then you can see this previous is 579.8 so you know that 579 is like the support zone understand so the support is around here okay all the way all the way all the way to here so the support is around 579.5 that is the price which is a little bit um, higher than the previous 24-hour low 
all right but you get the drift you get a rough idea okay so right now as we speak this is the time this is the sign that i'm looking for to enter so i'm going to place my trade right now macd still is not the ideal situation but i'm not going to wait i am fine to enter right now because of this sign and because of this uh, yellow line going up okay and because i know that there is good upside for the price to rise more all right about five dollars at least five to six dollars more so it is a good entry for long in my opinion okay so this is not financial advice and uh, this will be uh, more for educational purpose um, to share with you my trend of thought and how I make uh, my entries and uh, how I plan my exit okay so have a blessed day stay safe and stay cool stay calm well the volatility will be there but thanks to the volatility that's why we can win in this futures trading market in cryptos okay god bless everybody